What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. Let's get the sage going. For those of you who don't know how to cleanse yourself, this is what I do, okay? Just wave the smoke all around you and say, I cleanse myself of all negative energy and command the only love, light, and positive energy may enter. Mm -hmm. And to cleanse your space, you say, I cleanse the space of all negative energy and command the only love, light, and positive energy may enter. Oh, white sage is so amazing. And it was actually proven that it kills aerial bacteria, too. So that's pretty cool. Um, really quick, a Publix purple. Who likes the color purple? Um, a public service announcement. Um, use discernment. Take what resonates. But uh, for those of you who want to know, one of the ways that you can identify if somebody is giving you the evil eye um, or has tried to manifest some sort of dark magic against you, um, generally what will happen is when you think about them, something bad might happen to you, okay? This is usually, or you might see something that reminds them of you, or reminds you of them, rather, and then you think of them, and then it's like, I don't know, like, your backpack breaks, or like, I don't know, like you drop something, or, you know what I mean? So obviously, like, try not to think about them, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, um, and also I would encourage you guys to, to like, play with this and practice with this as well. And for any of you who think that you have uh, somebody who, like, has it out for you, um, there are uh, little evil eye necklaces that I have in my Etsy shop protect against the evil eye um, that I made out of resin um, that uh, you guys can purchase and they they really are amazing they really do help I swear I made them with love and blessings and light and I will leave a link to that in the description box below okay um, let's read some energy hmm. we have the eight of wands so um, and then we've also got the uh, Page of Wands, so some sort of a divine grant of inspiration, a download, somebody's receiving a download, what else spirit, I'd like to clarify the Eight of Wands please, ancestors, this card wants to come out, the lover is in reverse position, this is somebody who you were separated from, somebody has a, a divine grant of inspiration or somebody, somebody's feeling inspired and um, Somebody is gathering up, I'm hearing the words to say, they're, they're coming to some sort of a deeper understanding with regards to something. Let's just clarify a little bit further. Ancestors, what is the message, please? It's a lot of cards, but I'll take them. Okay, three of pentacles, the card of apprenticeship, um, and uh, the three of cups in the reverse position, the third party, that I feel like... Um, was creating some sort of a karmic fog around this person. This could be you, or this could be your person. Um, just take what resonates, but somebody wants to come home. Somebody wants to come back. They understand that you are you are their path, is what I'm hearing, okay? Somebody was trying to get away with some shit with the Five of Swords here. I feel like they're walk walking away from this situation. What else, Spirit? Mm-hmm, they were... They were was getting in the way of uh, this person's money. I feel like the karmic also is going to run into some money issues. They're not going to have a victory. Spirit's going to take away their power, their ability to be able to control or have time. Because you can control people with money or you can control people with time. And if you're having money issues, that's going to make it very difficult for somebody to have time to control somebody else. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how that works. Um, so... It's like, this karmic better get the fuck out of the way. But they're, with the five of swords here and the three of uh, wands in the reverse position, it's like they're trying to sabotage this, this union again. They kind of keep trying to sabotage this union. Your, your person might realize this. Be starting to realize this, or you might even be starting to realize this also. That there's somebody in your life that just keeps interfering, like, whenever you you um, are getting ready to jump into this this union uh, with your person. Um, 
Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is uh, just kind of like slow and steady wins the race, so to speak. I feel like you're, you've are you been working on something for a very long time also, um, and they have also. And it's like they're almost recognizing and seeing how the two paths are coming into alignment with each other. Somebody might be a fire sign, but somebody has a, a very, I'm hearing a bad attitude, but has a bad temper. And um, it's because they're not standing in their power, so they like to take power away from other people as well. This could be Aries, we've got the Fool here, so, um, and then with the King of Wands. Um, the Lovers could be Gemini, but the cards don't really, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Or the signs, rather. It's just, it's all energy, okay, I don't know why I said that. But, um, okay, so I feel like they're kind of... Fool here. I'd like to clarify the Fool card, please, Ancestors of High Flight Light. I feel like somebody needs to have more fun. Somebody's also very pure, so it's kind of like they didn't realize that this was going on, but this was a lesson that they were able to learn. Somebody's going to run into some bad luck. Yeah, they have, this person has a divine grant, a divine, a, is receiving a download to give some, some somebody some sort of intellectual truth, okay? And um, this, whatever they speak is, is going to be some sort of a, um, it's going to be a, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing karmic initiation. That doesn't sound right. That's not right, though. It's basically like they're speaking, they're they're going to be speaking, I'm hearing speaking in tongues. Why? Um, they're going to be saying something in a way that is going to speak to the soul of the karmic that is going to make the karmic understand and know that they that that their soul knows. If that makes any sense. So it's it's like this 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 person is going to be reading them their rights. The, the reading the soul, the human soul, their rights, okay? So it's like the human is the narcissist, but the soul is a dark empath or a psychic vampire, you know? Kind of embodies that, um, yeah, dark empath and psychic vampire. As I pull the Five of Cups, which is my um, psychic vampire dark empath card. This card wants to come out. Yeah, it's, it's like, I feel like this person... You or your person has been planting seeds for a very long time, um, and you're very guided on your path, and um, this person, uh, I'm hearing uh, like shapeshifter, was pretending to, um, and shapeshifters aren't really necessarily bad, honestly. Shapeshifters can just be like people who, you know, embody other people's energy, in this case, like a karmic. Or a shapeshifter can also be like somebody who, like, like I'm a shapeshifter because I'm, you know, like, uh, Sagittarius, Ophetius. So, like, I embody that energy, but I can also embody my Capricorn rising or my Sagittarius moon or my Libra Venus. You know what I mean? So, like, that can also be a shapeshifter. So, just in case if anybody wants to know what that's all about. What else, spirit? Yeah, this karmic has no options, no other option but to listen to whatever this person is going to say. This person is going to be read their rights, and this is going to be like, this will be very important because it's going to be for lifetimes beyond this lifetime. It's like, I feel like somebody's been waiting lifetimes to be able to read this person their rights, so to speak. It's, it's some sort of a divine truth they're going to receive through a download, where they're going to say what they need to say, and the karmic is going to have to stay away. Um, otherwise, uh, they're they're going to run into some bad luck. And for some of you, this may have actually already happened too. I'm hearing as well. Somebody may have been lying about juggling a lot, but it's actually they've been dealing with the situation and they didn't understand or know um, how to communicate it. Um, moon in the reverse position. Just a lot of ego. To, may have inflated their ego a little bit too I'm hearing there was some love bombing going on but they um, yeah yeah they're gonna block this karmic for 
for timelines beyond this one that karmic can't come back can cannot come back cannot do what they're doing ever again it's like uh somebody's reading them their rights it's like divine justice doesn't even need to be called in because they are serving this they're they're serving justice yeah I feel like this is kind of the end of the message, like none of the other cards want to come out. So let's see what zodiac signs we're dealing with. And then, um, that's Gemini at the bottom of the deck. What else? Okay. Cancer, Gemini, Bright Light. Scorpio. What else? Fire. So Sagittarius, Leo. Aries. Number 23. I just heard Jordan. I don't know. Like, slam dunk. <laughs> Pisces. It's like, you know, <laughs> uh, cancer energy. I'm seeing a whale. Somebody's a, a record keeper here. Somebody is really divine. Blue whale I'm seeing. Aries, Aries, Aries is highly aspected. Again, with Mars, too. Aries is highly aspected. Gemini. Mercury. That would be Virgo. Virgo or Gemini. Highly aspected. Gemini is highly aspected. Water. Scorpio is highly aspected. Pisces. Cancer is highly aspected. Oh my goodness. Leo, where are you at? You're right here. Leo is highly aspected. <laughs> Keep looking out of the window. I feel like this karmic just kept like trying to create like distractions and stuff like that. We've got Capricorn too. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's the reading. Don't forget to like and comment. And um, check out my Etsy shop too. And... Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below, and um, if you would like to donate to the channel as well, I will leave my PayPal information in the description box below too. Every little bit counts. It really does. It helps so much, you guys. Um, and or just uh, uh, you know buying some of your crystal supports um, from my Etsy shop. That also is very helpful as well. So. All right, I'm sending you guys lots of love. If you'd like a personal reading, please feel free to contact me, 616-485-3479. You can just text me and say, hello, my name is, I would like a reading, blah, blah, okay? And, um, yes, sending you guys lots of love, and until next time, thanks for being here.